Hey everyone, TragicMDG here, and today I'm going to try out uh, eBay's new scan cards feature. I saw a little advertisement when I was scrolling through eBay that uh, you can sell your cards easily by scanning them right in for MTG, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, so we're going to put that to the test. You guys know I like to use the scanners. I've been using them for a few years, so kind of a quasi-expert on them, I'd say. <laughs> and uh, I want to put this one to the test and see if it stacks up to any other ones that I've used. Uh, I'm going to throw it some challenges here and see if it can recognize cards that have been reprinted a bunch of times and see if it can figure out the um, addition. I'm going to guess probably not because the other scanners also have trouble with that from time to time. Um, some of the newer cards too that have multiple borders. Uh, we're going to throw a foil alternate and a regular version of a Teferi's Protection at it and a couple of Mystical Archives, um, English and Japanese, and then just some newer cards and see how it does. Let's give it a try. So I'm gonna switch to my phone view and see how it goes here. Selling, you can list an item and Okay, where did it go? There was a spot. Yep, here we go. List at lightning speed. Lightning, really? Get Go 50% faster with image scanning. Here's how. Let's give it a try. List at lightning speed. List faster in three easy steps. Um, I'll bet there's gonna be more steps than three. Just saying. Open the eBay app. Step one, I did it. Point the camera Add a, wait, hold on, I gotta read the rest. To start your listing, type in the name of the game and select tap to search with your camera. Okay. Point your camera at a card. Computer vision matches your scan to pre-fill listing details. Select your match, complete your listing with photos, price and condition. That really honestly sounds like more than three steps, but let's give it a try. More updates for sports trading cards will be available soon. So, I mean, if this works, it could be very helpful to um, a lot of people. So, let's see. So, what it said was to search. So, let's go back and search. I'm going to search Magic the Yuglioing. Okay. I'm guessing the, the, the camera icon up at the top. Find the things you love by sending a photo by grabbing. This is not, I wanna sell, I wanna sell. Okay, hold on, let's go back and see if we can re-figure this out, hold on. Selling. Let's see, where is... Directions unclear. Open the eBay app, Just type, to start your listing, type in the name of the game and select tap to search with your camera. So I guess you just have to create a listing which it didn't actually specify that, or am I just dumb? That could be one or both. So list an item and what is the keyboard or whatever these lines are. There it is, that was the thing. So five vertical lines means take a picture with your phone. That was pretty clear. All right, so we're gonna try a dark ritual from uh, fourth edition. Let's see what it knows about that. Point your camera at a barcode. So this thing does not have a barcode. And so that makes sense, that thing was a barcode. So it's not gonna scan a card because it doesn't have a barcode. All right, so where are the, where's the card scanning? All right, so, okay, is this the thing? You gotta type in magic, the gathering. Here, now, there it becomes clear. So, it's lucky you guys have me because you would have been fumbling around with this too, right? All right, now we'll scan. Blink, it said. MTG Dark Ritual Summer Magic, no. Revised Edition, Alpha Edition, Regular, Fourth Edition. So we'll double check, yes, it's a regular, it's not an alternate fourth. Click that, yeah, it's used, sure. Okay, so now I can see that maybe this has got a little bit of a future. Except for, all it does is <laughs> it starts a listing. You still now need to provide photos of your items. So if this could have scanned and taken a photo at the same time, that would have been probably better. So, and like typically I will have a different camera setup 
than this. So, um, but that seemed to work okay. So there's one picture, and I'll take a picture of the back so you can usually see like little scratches on a used card like this. It's like late to moderate clay. All right, done. All right, so there's my photos. They upload. There's your main photo. Um, it did put the title in. That's kind of nice. So often I will take uh, you know one title format and uh, you know edit it as I need, basically copying off the last card that I did. So if I came in with like the next card, I would type in I would delete Dark Ritual out in fourth edition. I would just put in the information of the next card. It's it's a relatively time consuming process to do all of the steps that are needed for this. Um, and if you just use the defaults that it gives you from scanning, then it might save you a little bit of time. So you still have to do like your pricing setup. So, you know, a card like, you know, one dark ritual, you're not gonna really put this up for a bid for 99 cents, but you know, let's, we'll use another one in the next example. But um, for the most part, it seems to be working relatively well at this point you're now into like the regular upload for uh, an ebay listing um, so this really doesn't save you that much more time if you could set your automatic features and just tell it every time you take a picture then just go ahead and upload it that would save a lot of time but it still makes you do these kind of things well set up your starting bid set up your duration so if you want to take offers you want to have a scheduled start time which sometimes i'll do that as well you have to go in and do all that stuff manually um, but it's mostly set to the default um, the delivery is um, something that i always have to go in and tell it to turn off the international shipping so this is kind of nice that it automatically had it off and just first class mail the shipping cost at four dollars seems a little high so and you know often with small cards you might want to just offer free shipping and then just set your price uh, a little bit higher to include the shipping so i will save this one for later and then we'll try another one so let's list another item again you have to type in magic the gathering to get started to open up that camera so we're gonna see, we're gonna try this uh, Teferi's protection. Let's let's pull out first the mystical archive, the English version. I'm gonna try it through the sleeve, see if it can recognize it. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a little bit of a problem there because we got a lot of false possibilities here. None of them were the correct card. Let's try it again. Teferi's protection. Hey, there it is. So it actually does have loaded in the mystical archive version. There we go. So, I mean, the only option is used, I guess, since it's out of the package. When really this is this is a brand new card. I went from pack to sleeve. It shouldn't really be a used card. So you'd have to go back in and change that in the item specifics if you wanted to. And you can't. Never mind. All of these cards are used since they're singles. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So it does have all the information, which nobody looks at this stuff when they're trying to buy a card. They just know what card they're looking for and they go look for all the different people that are selling it and find the best price. They, you know it's an instant, you know it's typically from Strixhaven, you know, it's a white mythic. It's, most of that extra information is unnecessary. It even has the illustrator name on there, which is kind of cool. Um, it puts it into the correct category, so that's cool. Uh, you put a starting bid. It, it has the pricing set at uh, 15 bucks as the starting bid with a seven day auction. And then this little button, this little graph right here that you can press, it'll pull up some, the last sold listings or some of the last sold listings for this card. Um, previously, this card has sold for $20, $24, $24.99, right? So the, that's pretty solid that uh, eBay will uh, put a starting bid of 15 bucks on there. That's not too low. Although a card like this, you can set for 99 cents and have confidence that it would go up to at least 20 bucks. So um, more options, you have the seven days. You could take offers. You could then manually set that if you wanted. You could add a reserve price. And then the schedule of start time. Often I'll set my schedule of start time 
to like the evening because that seems to be when people are off of work kicking it eating dinner they'll look at uh, cards and buy it that's like prime time right so um all right so i would say that all in all it does have a few interesting features that might make it worth its while let's put some more of these to the test i would like to see if it can recognize the foil to fairies protection let's see here magic gathering tap to search with your camera i'm going to try it through the the top loader and the sleeve with the glare of the foil and see if it can recognize it no matches found yeah so that was kind of what i expected i raised the level of difficulty a bit i can't fault it for that so let's try it with just the sleeve scan again blink no matches found all right let's try it again so foreign language borderless foil it might be just a bit too much for this system can it do it no matches found yeah so what i've found with other scanners when i've tried to just scan for pricing the foiling is really what confounds that and the light bouncing off of it makes it look like it's not that correct art so i'm going to try to shade it a little bit here and see no nope, can't do it let's try it again one more time Yep, that's gonna be very difficult. So a card like that would have to be done manually more than likely. And after trying it like three or four times, you might be a little frustrated by that. You would just kind of figure that out over time that, hey, I'm not gonna to try to scan foils. Let's, uh, let's try this Chalice of the Void. And again, I'm gonna try it through the sleeve and see how that works. This is the Time Spiral Remastered version. So it pulled up all the possibilities for um, Chalice of the Void, which here it is, the Time Spiral Remastered special version, and yep, used, I guess. And yep, so we would have to then now take a picture of it, which that part I think should be built into the scan function. There we go, and then typically I won't use this like um, set up. I have uh, an actual box, like a light box that I'll use to take pictures straight on um, for, for especially for like good cars that are going to be more than like 30 bucks but um, this it would work and you could use this I, in this way. You can just hold the phone in your hand and take a picture so that's easy enough so there it is. So let's let's try a couple more just for fun let me see, what's a, what's a tricky card we can throw it out here? I wanna try this unlimited unholy strength here. Let's do that and see if it, it I guess now that I, I realize how it works, it's just gonna pull up all the possibilities for this art and then you get to choose. So unholy strength, no matches found. Oh, interesting. So, okay, let's try it again. No, oh, okay, so that does actually have a little bit of problem to it. I wonder if the uh, pentagram makes it like illegal art, <laughs> so it can't be shown on eBay. Although I've found much worse stuff than that on eBay before. Let's try this Combodge Wishes from uh, Chronicles and see what happens here. Yep, okay, so I found that. Got the Arabian Nights version, it's just based on the art basically. I'll scan again. I'm just going to try a few of these and just see how it does for scanning purposes. Pinhorn Elder 7th edition. That's the only one that has that art, so that worked out pretty good. Got a true name nemesis with the alternate border. And it pulls up, uh, yep, the two different versions. Actually, there's there are other versions of this, right? Isn't there a um, commander version? I think so, right? So, all right, let's try a new card like a... What do we got? A Belladress, Wither Bloom, and again, I'm going to try this through the sleeve. All right, didn't have a problem with that, so that's good. All right, let's 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 try another um, Japanese alternate card and see if, the, if we can see it without foiling. 
I'm not even sure what this is. Uh, uh, hopefully it will tell me. Now match is found. Scan again. Nope, yep, so the, um, the foreign cards uh, knocked, loaded in maybe. Let's try one more time. Here's a Tezzeret's Gambit, I think. Nope, didn't like that one either, so, okay. Well, I think that's gonna do it. Oh wait, I got one more thing to try. Let's see if this is really pushing it. Here's an art card from a set booster box. We'll put it in there sideways and see. Oh wow. Well, it it got the. Is that right? Oh, I guess it's a it's a dual card. Sonata. Torrent sculptor is the art on this, so it actually just found the art and brought up like the actual real card. So that didn't work for the uh, art card. One more time, let's do this foil in the gate. See if we can see through the foil. Nope, yeah, foiling with a bit of glare always gives it some trouble, so. All right, there we go. Um, I'm gonna call it a day on that and um, declare that the eBay scanning app is okay. Um, definitely no substitute for your own eyes when it comes to these, but um, it could be a nice time saver for uh, if you have a stack of cards to sell. Um, you don't want to type everything in all at once and redo it all. So um, that's it for that. So thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you think down below. Um, are you going to try the eBay scanning app to sell your cards? Give me a like and a subscribe while you're at it. And Tragic MTG saying see you later.